So happy to see you again. We have a revivalist Kulbal uh, is here. So I'm so happy to uh, be with him. It's the first time I'm recording uh, a video with um, evangelist uh, Kulbal. Uh, we especially God has separated from um, Sikhism to Christianity. He's a man of God. God has he's been using all over the world. And now we are going to, now you're going to hear something from the word of God, especially John chapter 3. Uh, many people used to ask how we can become born again. What is born again? What people you are preaching about? What is that? What's the meaning of born again? Um, we are going to open some scriptures for you. Um, so I believe you are going to get a good understanding about the born again experience. Uh, Pastor uh, Kul, you want to add something? What sure. Is? Yeah. Um, we're going to speak about how to be born again in these next 10 to 15 minutes. But we must understand the story behind this guy called Nicodemus. He was a Pharisee, but he was part of the leading council. In his traditional mind, being born again, uh, when Jesus said to him, you must be born again, for him, he was no comprende, he don't understand, he didn't understand, because in his theological mind, there was many ways of being born again. If you are born into um, part of the Jewish council, if you're part of the Jewish system, that could be born again. If you're part of the Roman thing, you could be born again. If you're religious and you work your way towards a certain uh, height or certain level of your spiritual life, you could be born again. In my research, there were seven or eight different ways. So when Jesus said, you must be born again, born of water and born of the Spirit, for him, he didn't understand. And that's why he said, do you mean I have to go back inside my mom's womb, in my mother's womb, to be born again? Because he couldn't try to understand what was happening. Jesus says, no, you have to be born of water and born of the spirit as well yes uh, here is very very clearly says that now uh, john chapter 3 verses 1 onwards there was a man of pharisees named nicodemus uh, a ruler of jews this man came to jesus by night and said to him rabbi we know that you are a teacher come from god for no one can do these signs that you do unless god is with him Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Amen. See, Jesus clearly says that unless someone is, bo one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Then again, Nicodemus said to him, uh, how, can a old, how can a man born again when he is old? Can he enter second time into his mother's womb and be born again? That was a question Nicodemus was asking. Many people you can ask what is born again? That Jesus was explaining. Jesus answered, Most shall I say to you, unless one is born again, water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Verse 6, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not marvel, marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. Hallelujah. So I am going to ask a question to Pastor Kul. What is really become born again? What's the meaning of born again? Okay. So being born again, the way Jesus had tried to explain it to Nicodemus, it's having a rebirth, a new birth, not a physical birth, but a spiritual birth, uh, a being regenerated in your spirit. And so it's a regeneration of the human spirit. Before somebody becomes a Christian, they are still triune, spirit, soul, and body. So the soul and the body is functional, but the spirit is empty. When you ask 
God to forgive you and want to follow him the rest of their life. The breath of God, the, 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 the spirit of God comes into you and your spirit is activated. So it's an activation of your spiritual rebirth. Let me say that one more time. An activation of your spiritual rebirth. Uh, it's done by the Holy Spirit. So as Dr. Kingsley was reading just now, you must be born not just from the natural, which happened however years you are, but a spiritual rebirth that happens in you. It's I have another question as well. Why... A person should born again. Why should a person be born again? Yeah. Without your spirit being active in your normal life, uh, then you will be ruled by chance. You will be going by your soul, which is not connected to God. Your soul is connected to the things around you on earth, your experiences, your natural. But when you are born again, your supernatural activation starts. And your supernatural activation is by the Holy Spirit. So it's good to be guided by God, by the Holy Spirit, rather than being guided by the natural. Why, is, why, what's the necessity for a person to be born again? Because most of the religions are teaching, if you do good, we go to heaven. But Bible says that our goodness is nothing, it's like a filthy rags. Yes. But what Bible teaches, only the blood of Jesus is able to cleanse our sins. It's not only my sins, not only your sin, the whole world's people's sin. So I'll tell you, um, uh, no other gods died for your uh, sins, only Jesus Christ died for our sins. So uh, that's the, uh, what I believe that uh, go, uh, every individual has the responsibility to accept Christ as our own savior. Because it's our, it's totally up to us. It's our, it's up to our choice. Yes. Why do you, um, what do you think about the world, dying world? Uh, what's the necessity they want to know about Jesus? Right. Dr. Kingsley, you're absolutely right. Before we leave earth, before we die, we need a relationship with Jesus, a vibrant, true relationship with Jesus Christ. No one else has forgiven our sins. No one else has died for us. No one else shed their blood to forgive us. But when Jesus did it, there was a new relationship with Jesus Christ, a relationship with God so that we can walk with God and talk with God. And therefore, whatever God speaks to us, then we can relate it to all the people around us. So the Bible speaks about unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. You cannot hear the kingdom of God. You cannot hear from God because there's a sin that blocks us from hearing from God. That comes from Psalm 66 verse 18. Your sin has separated you from God. When Jesus died for us, that sin barrier was broken. There was an open heaven and we can relate to God because now he lives in us through the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Um, also, uh, I, I want to uh, say to you, especially uh, Pastor Kuli, he came from a Sikh background. He became born again um, from a different religion to Christianity. Can you tell us, tell to the viewer about a little bit about your born again experience, experience how sure. you became born again? Sure. So, technically speaking, I gave my heart to Jesus when my lecturer walked into the room. I was studying electronics in Scotland. My lecturer walked into the room. He said, after explaining to him a few things, and he already knew about my identical twins, which had died three or four months prior. He said to me, do you want to give your life to the Lord, to Jesus? I said, yes, but I wasn't being honest. I said yes to him because he was the one marking my paper. Having said that prayer, 
yes, I want a relationship with him. The next 15 months, I wasn't being in relationship. I was doing everything I could to escape the pleasure of having a relationship with Jesus. Instead, I had the pleasure of the world that I wanted. Until I had an encounter with the Lord Jesus. He came to me um, with my identical twins who had died. 18 months prior, identical twin girls had died about this size. 18 months later, when Jesus came to me, the twins were about the height of a 12-year-old. Uh, girls, one on either side of Jesus. I seen him clearly from head, body, and foot. And then I knew, because he also spoke to me, I knew that Jesus is real. And uh, in my heart, if I don't have a relationship with this Jesus, I'll never see him again, never see my twins again. But I submitted to God in that reality vision and I said yes I want to follow and that's what I did from that day on many years ago. John chapter 3 16 says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that who whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. See yes. only Jesus can give us an everlasting life. Do you, be, do you want do you, you want to become born again? It's very simple. Um, how, how we can born again? Sure. Without God in your life, without Jesus Christ in your life, without forgiveness of Jesus from all your sins, you cannot be born again. You need that relationship with Jesus. And I have a very simple way because it's not the words that we speak, it's the relationship of our heart with Jesus. A simple way is A, B, C. A means admit that you have sinned. Admit that you have missed the target of God. Admit that you've done wrong things. All of us have. B, believe in Jesus Christ. That means believe that he died on the cross and three days later he was risen up by the Spirit of God and right now he's sitting at the right hand side of the Father. C. Commit your life to him and ask him for help and guidance to walk through the journey because God knows every circumstance including the ones that's ahead of us. That he, we can avoid the mistakes or even when we go through the mistakes then he can help us, guide us, empower us. A, B, C. Admit, believe, commit your life. Ask him for his direction. And so that's very easy to do. And I'll lead you in a prayer in just a moment. I want to encourage you. You have to give your heart to Jesus. Yes. You don't think your riches and honor is going to take you to heaven. No way. Bible says uh, without Jesus, you cannot become born again. Because only Jesus Christ died for us. In the, in the on the cross then he is the only one shed the blood for us so this is a great opportunity you can become a child of god doesn't matter in what religion you are from doesn't matter what nationality um, you have to become born again we don't have any other option we don't have any other choice at all we have only one or plan plan a that one will work that's a plan of god now um, uh, pastor uh, Kul is going to lead you for um, the salvation prayer yep. there's nothing else better on earth than to have a born again new generation a refreshing into your heart into your spirit into your life this can change your life for the better it's a win-win situation win for your soul win for your spirit win for your journey to walk and talk with god for your prayers to be answered and for you to get help along the journey of life so like I said, to be born again is A, B, C. I'm going to help you through that right now. Put your hand on your heart, please. It's just a symbol of your relationship that you want. A surrender of your life to God. A, admit. Say, dear Lord Jesus, please 
forgive me for my sin. I've done many wrong things. Please forgive me for that. B, believe in Jesus Christ. Believe that he died and he rose again. And you have to believe. The word believe means think about it and commit to that. So believe in Jesus Christ who died and rose again and see, commit your life to Jesus. So say, dear Lord Jesus, please forgive me for my sin. I admit I've done wrong. I believe that you died on the cross to forgive me. I believe you are sitting at the right hand side of the Father. I commit my life to you. I ask you for direction every single day. Direct me to a good church, to a Bible-believing church. Help me to understand as I read the Bible on what to do and how to do. In Jesus' name, I pray this. Amen. Amen. If you pray this, let me speak a blessing upon you. Lord Jesus, I pray a great blessing on the listener that everyone will be compelled to follow you by the Spirit of God. They would give their hearts over to you this very day. There will not be any delay, but they will touch them, bless them. I pray your blessing upon them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, please let us know your feedback. God bless you. God bless you.